Welcome to another episode of Cookie Vision. In this video, I'm going to be making a snitch from Harry Potter. So I'm outlining the entire thing with a white piping consistency royal icing with a number two tip, and this is a plaque shaped sugar cookie. Next, I'm going to flood in the entire shape with a flooding consistency white royal icing in a squeeze bottle. I'll also use my scribe tool to even everything out and get rid of any air bubbles. Now, before I move on to the next step, I'm going to let this cookie crust over at least for a few hours as I'm going to be adding another flooded layer on top. Now for the snitch itself, I'm going to be using uh, my projector to project the image that I want onto my cookie. Um, I understand not everybody has a projector, so you could always use a homemade stencil or just lightly etch uh, the image into the surface with your scribe tool to kind of give yourself a little bit of a guide. I'm taking a number one tip here with a piping consistency gold royal icing, and I'm tracing the shape and filling it in as well. And I'm going to give my cookie a quick little shake after this, just to make sure the icing is nice and settled and smooth. And I'm going to let it crust over for another few hours um, before I do all the detail on top. So the next part is the really fun part, and that is all of these little details. So I've got the smallest tip that I have. This is actually a triple zero tip. It's a round tip. And I've got my piping consistency gold again. And I've outlined the body of the snitch, and then I've also outlined just the uh, tops, or sorry, I guess the bottom of the wing. I'm not outlining the top. And then I'm adding all of these uh, vertical lines to make it look kind of like the, the snitch that you see in the movie. Um, very mechanical, almost looking. And I wanted to make sure that I didn't outline all of the wing, just to make it look a little less solid and more whimsical. I'll also add some detail to the center. Um, this is a little bit more uh, decorative. And I'm just adding some lines in those little sections at the bottom. And then I'll add a little bit of detail to the top as well. And even with this triple zero tip, it's still very, very small. Um, there's not a whole lot of room to work with. So uh, you want to make sure that your icing isn't too thin for this part or it's just going to run right into each other. I'm going to outline the bottom of the other wing as well. And then keep going with all of these little lines. Uh, going upwards towards the top of the cookie. Next, I want to do a decorative border, so I've got a chocolatey brown here, uh, the same brown that I've been using for all of my other Harry Potter cookies in this series, and just, the, just to tie them together, basically, it's nice using a complementary color that you use on all of your cookies so that they go well together. And I'm just outlining the outside and adding a few little loop-de-loops as well, just to kind of break it up and make it look a little bit more decorative and pretty and whimsical. And again, that was a piping consistency brown royal icing with a number two tip. I've got some gold luster dust here as well. And I've let this crust over a little bit. You definitely want to make sure you let this crust over or you're just going to brush away all of that nice little detail 
that you just finished doing and you worked so hard on. And I'm saying this from personal experience. I got a little impatient with one of my earlier cookies and did that. So um, I mixed together some gold luster dust with some vodka just to make it paintable and diluted. And I've got a little bit on my brush. You don't want too, too much because you don't want to add a whole lot of uh, gold. You're just going over the little details that you just did. You don't really have to get into all those little nooks and crannies. It adds a little bit of uh, extra dimension and um, 3D, a uh, 3D look. And if you didn't add enough gold, you could always go back over your uh, previous details and just do a little bit more gold as you see fit. I've also got a bit of the same gold and I got it on a bigger brush this time and I'm flicking it at my cookie. Um, this will add a little bit of a vintage feel to it. Um, it's really good for white backgrounds especially if you if you're kind of bored with your white backgrounds you'd always add like a little bit of a speckled effect. It looks really nice with luster dusts or a lighter color. Um, brown would also be a nice one to speckle your cookies with if you're looking for something very vintage. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to like me on Facebook and on Instagram. Bye!